This is the Steam Deck Cooler and it can lower your Steam Deck temps by up to 17 degrees Celsius. How? I'm gonna show you in this video. Hello guys, today I wanna show you uh, the Steam Cooler. Um, the Steam Cooler is a contraption you can clip on your deck to get better temps. But for that to happen, there's one important part. So, JSOX uh, lately brought out this transparent back shell. So it's the whole back shell you can replace with the original Steam Deck back shell and it's transparent. But not only is it that, it also features that aluminum plate on the back. And so what does this aluminum plate uh, do? So right behind it on the, on the other side, I will show a picture right now. There is like a thermal pad, a pretty big one. And that thermal pad like presses against the aluminum shield inside of the Steam Deck. That's encasing like the CPU and other components. And the idea is to transfer like heat to from the CPU and GPU to that um, aluminum plate to take a thermal uh, some thermals off that would like normally go over the heat pipe and the heat exchanger that's built in, in the deck normally on top. Um, so there's one problem with that, like the heat pad that connects the CPU and GPU to the aluminum shield. I will show, uh, I show, I show you this picture right now. So you can see the original thermal pad is like tiny. There's not a lot of heat exchange, but it never was meant to be. But if you want to like use this aluminum plate to properly like take uh, heat off the CPU uh, and GPU part, you have to expand the thermal conductivity. You have to enlarge the contact point so there can be proper heat transfer to that aluminum shield. And I'll show you in the picture what I did. I pretty much only replaced the tiny thermal pad with uh, a third party one with a very good uh, thermal conductivity. And as you can see, it's a way bigger area now. So that area now um, transfers heat much more efficiently to the JSOX aluminum pad. So there's like the CPU and GPU, then the applied bigger layers of thermal pad then there comes the aluminum shield on that aluminum shield there's another big heat pad off the JSOX back plate and on that one there finally comes in play this aluminum plate and now this one gets really really not hot but it's almost too much uh, to the touch already so keep that in mind you can still play without the cooler but this now gets much uh, hotter than before because there's way uh, way bigger surface area for thermal conductivity and in this case that's exactly what we want so in, in so if you want to make the, the this contraption work with the st uh, steam deck with the JSOX uh, third party back shell you have to do this mod otherwise you won't be able to take off enough of the temperature uh, what I also did like way before was like uh, swapping the original thermal paste with a crying out grizzly one uh, which way better heat conductivity which also of course in addition helps for this mod I'm gonna show you so after many many prototypes this is the final design I came up with I used my strain relief clamp I already made a while ago to attach the whole contraption on the steam deck. As you can see, it's a simple fan on top and there's a heat sink right behind it. It's 50 by 50 by uh, 11 millimeters and it's a 5 volt fan. So I added a cable with a USB-A plug so you can drive this off like a, a smartphone power supply or a power bank. 
on the back. This is a protective cover when you don't have it on your Steam Deck. You simply take it off and there you have the contact area. This one, uh, as you can see, there's some silver shiny thing going on on top. Uh, in the description I recommend like using aluminum foil, but in this case, because I, ha I had it at hand, I used um, actual like leaf silver because that's an even better conductor and it's just about not uh, getting the stickiness out of that surface. The other, this is like a thermal pad 1.5 millimeters and it's very sticky. It, this is stuff is very sticky and it's supposed to be sticky and it's uh, connected to the heat sink and that's good. It should stick to the heat sink but we want uh, we don't want it to like get stuck to the deck because it should be easy to uh, put on and taken off. And as you can see, the moment I took out the protective shielding, there's two openings to the left and the right where the warm air comes out. And they're actually like going both sides on the hands, so there's a nice cooling effect as well. So if you have sweaty hands, this, this works really, really nice, especially in summer. So you're not only cooling the deck, but also your hands, which is uh, pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, you close it up pretty easy and you can transport it and don't have to uh, fear that you're damaging the thermal pad with the, with the foil on top. And as you can see, also the exit of the hot air is protected. Okay. So the installation is pretty straightforward. We have the steam cooler and all you do is you align it with the USB-C connector, press it because it is spring loaded and then simply clip it over and it's on. That's it. So you have the possibility uh, to like connect uh, your steam deck to your charger because really this is meant for like, I wouldn't like say this is for mobile gaming. I mean you can play mo mobile with it of course you can just like simply put the power bank in your pocket and the cable is long enough and just have it go and as you can see we have a cable I didn't uh, want it to connect to the uh, steam USB-C port to be driven over that because it would drain even more battery so I simply connected to a power bank and it goes. When you connect it to the charger you have a cable strain relief on this side where you simply like plug the charger. So what you do is you take the cable from your charger and just simply like tuck it underneath it and then you take that cable and plug it in now you have a strain relief and you have the fan connect as you can see the design of the clamp is in a way it does not obstruct the inlet of the vent there's plenty plenty of space so air can get in and the exit of the air is on the sides left and right and when you hold it you can feel a pleasant stream of air on your hands which is very very nice especially in hot weather conditions the cooler is capable of lowering temps by up to 17 degrees depending on the on the modification so Keep in mind, I exchanged the original thermal paste on the Steam Deck. I got some really nice thermal pads with a, a high thermal conductivity. And I even used like uh, leaf silver for the contact area instead of aluminum foil, which is also better heat conductivity. So the best you can get or I was able to get was 70 degrees lower. Your uh, result may vary. But all in all, this is a very nice working mod. It doesn't hurt anyone. And especially on, on hard hitting titles where the Steam Deck fan goes really high, the moment you clip this on, like a minute later, the, the, 
the fan, the internal fan RPM drop like down to like, if, if it wasn't 6,000 before, uh, even 7,000, it's down to 3,200. So this really, really works uh, very nicely. Uh, I wouldn't say it's for mobile use. I mostly use it when I'm playing like connected to the charger for longer play sessions. Then I also don't have it connected to a power bank, but simply like to the power outlet and my phone charger. And just as easy as that, I'm plugging it, lifting it up, and then simply take it off. And as you can see, this area is spring loaded. The spring is kind of stiff because you want nice pressure on the surface area to be on that and that's how it works. <laughs> 